Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So what we are doing in this is uh, we have the login and sign up and everywhere we are getting the login state using this. So we can hide these buttons. If login is true, then don't show the sign up and login, just show the logout button. And on the on the logout button, we can actually have this method which will actually do the sign out. Okay, this is the logout function also dot sign out. And after that, once you do the sign out, we don't have proper login and sign up screen because that is a part of landing page only. You can actually refresh the page and go somewhere. Okay. So if we just try to log in. I will do the sign in. So sign in will actually uh, log me in and you can see the lo logout is coming up, right? Because it has updated the state. And once the state is updated, the logout will be populated. And now you can actually go to the restaurant page. Restaurant page will just show the empty page for now. Here I will do the logout and the logout after that you can navigate to some particular page and you can also go to the restaurant page. But you should be logging for the restaurant page, right? So we have done the very basic thing. Now we will actually start designing the restaurant page. So if I try to go to the restaurant page, this is a protected route. So it will try to launch it, but it will come to the landing page only. Why? Because the restaurant page is checking is authenticated flag in the Redux state. And I don't know if we are doing it. Logged in, logged in is false and user is null. But when you are actually doing the logout, we also need to alter the state, Redux state. So here we will use the same thing. What we have done in the, the routes, let me just remove all these functions and we did it in the context if you remember this is in hoc in the context we use dispatch and in this you can actually once you do the logout dispatch type is a logout so in the login drawer we have the logout function first we will import this because when you are doing the logout we also need to reset the state of redux we can import use selector and use dispatch from react redux and we can say use dispatch and here we need to pass the type sorry uh, it should be dispatch and we can pass the the type we are sending it should be logout i think Okay, so this logout thing, what it will do is it will trigger an action to the Redux and we already have this action defined in the reducer. The reducer is taking care of that. Auth reducer, let's take a look onto this. And on type and this is logout. Right, it will set login false and user null. Okay. So what I will do now is we already have a restaurant API ready uh, and authentication services ready. We will go to the API layer. This is the, the basic front end we have done with the integration of Redux and accessing the Redux state using use selector and use dispatch. Okay. And just toggling things based on when user is logged in or log out. That is the basic thing we have done. Now the next design we are going to do is the, the restaurant page and this search page. Here we have this particular search page where you can enter the location, you'll be able to fetch the data, then find food based on the coordinates. We will see in the database, okay, do we have a restaurant around? And it will be like this. Currently we are log out, so we can log in again. And once we do the login, then what we will do is we will take the user to the restaurant page. Or restaurant can be a simple public page where you can, after doing login, we can just directly show the restaurant menus to you. Okay, that we will do after doing some API exercise. Now we are done with the basic front end, at least the landing page authentication, uh, login sign up and basic toggling, even the integration of Redux, we can use the Redux persist. Two important things we need to introduce is Redux persist to persist the state on the local storage. And one more thing is the lazy loading of these routes. Okay, that we will do uh, I will do and I will push the code 
Uh, so this is being pushed on the same repository that is in the description. You can check out, you can take the clone. So now we have the basic pages. We just need to fix this routing and this navigation. Like when you are logged in, then you should be able to go to the landing page. Once you are logged in, then you will be redirected to the rest restaurant page. If you reload on the restaurant page, you should stay there. So we need to figure out how we can manage the state, like we can use the Redux persist, all these logic we are going to implement. But before that, let's go to the API site. Basic authentication we have done. Okay, we are now able to launch our restaurant page, which would look something like this. We are going to design this. Here in the bottom, we are going to have the same swaggy, swiggy menu of uh, different restaurants and menu. Okay, this is the target we are going to design. But before that, we have to look at our database, what all services we have already written. So this is the entity relationship diagram we have. We have address covered, restaurant, menu covered, right? Now user is coming in, user is getting logged in, user high, we have the token, we have the email ID. And now we also need to introduce the user type, right? Based on that, we can redirect the user to a restaurant page, admin page, and all these things. And we are actually using this particular approach of microservice where we are using the Nginx simple, right? Which we have already discussed in the proxy, you can see the default conf. So we will do a Docker compose up. We will just run only the selected containers. Like, like we have this gatekeeper service already written. What you need to worry about is this environment files. Okay. That I will explain that what all attributes you need in environment file, because here, once you are taking the token, from the user, then you will be validating it against the Firebase, right? So this is our service. This is the Nest.js service we have written, auth service. Once you are sending the token and the request, every request is talking to the auth service. Auth service will say, okay, yeah, this is the token and this is valid. I have already checked it with the Firebase. And then it will say, okay, now you can process the request and send the response. So currently we already have this restaurant service and authentication service okay we'll play with these two services because initially we need uh, we need a mechanism to list down all the restaurant list down their menus the data and all these things and authentication service which uh, will help this restaurant service to validate the token and then we will send the response back and then we'll come back to the ui we will design this restaurant uh, list page of uh, different menu items coming from the restaurant okay so that is our next target. So I will start working on the APIs and then we'll connect back.